Hey y'all, I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another Pandora haul. So today I have a fun haul for you from Facebook Marketplace, from Etsy, from a few places around the web. So we are looking at retired charms, things that are a little harder to find, things I've been searching for, some for a very long time, um, an exclusive from the Disney parks, and even few pieces from Etsy that I'm not sure are real. So we're going to jump right in. I have one, two, three, four, five packages here to go through and we are going to take a look at all the fun charms. Let's get started. All right, y'all, let's jump in. So I've got one retired, one Disney. So this is from the Magical Ears company. Not exactly sure. I'll put it on the screen. I don't remember exactly what the name is, but I've seen this company a bunch of times. They are not specifically affiliated, I believe, with the Disney parks, but they will purchase Disney parks exclusive charms for you. Um, I've never ordered from them before, but I just had to have this castle. Then I have two packages from ladies on Facebook Marketplace and one from Etsy, which we'll get into, but I am, I'm like 90% sure these are fake. So stay tuned. We're going to go through all of these packages and then I need your help to determine this little bag. Let's start with this box. All right. So this little box I ordered from a gal on Facebook Marketplace. And it is a retired set of charms that I've been wanting for a long time, but I did not want to get on my own. So now that my mom is finally collecting Pandora, and if you've caught any of my Pandora videos, we're doing travel bracelets because we just took a big trip. I ordered these and I'm going to gift her one, obviously. Makes no sense to keep both when I can share with my mama. But they are the travel hearts. So on the first side, they say, I want to travel the world. And on the back, they say, with you. And ideally, I am going to get, they have another set of hearts similar to this that say mother daughter on them. And so I really like that they can go side by side and the hearts kind of overlap and close. So I want to get the mother daughter ones to go with these. That way I can give my mom one set and obviously I'll keep the other set. But in the meantime, they have the Hallmarks S925 ALE. They look real to me. The fonts look correct. The charms look correct. If you have these charms, let me know what you think. But so far, I am very happy with these. I'll be even happier once I get the mother-daughter ones. But the mother-daughter ones, I'll link to below, are still available on the Pandora site. So they were not a must have got to run out and have it real quick. I'd almost rather wait until um, we're going on a trip in May to a couple Caribbean islands. Maybe we'll pick the mother daughter ones up there and I'll give to these on that trip. That'd be sweet. She does not know about them yet. So don't tell her. Next up, Disney. So we went to a castle in Schwerin, Germany. And while I did get a German um, charm, exclusive charm, I really wanted a castle. This and Giverny were my two favorite stops. And so there were, there's of course lots of castles, but I just, you guys had to have it. I had to have it. So this is the rose gold Disney castle. It is not cheap, and obviously it is prefer preferable 
to pick it up in the parks yourself. But I went ahead, like I said, I got it through the Magical Ears Company. It has the Susie on the front, Susie's around the bottom. As far as I know, they are a real company, but if you know something different, let me know. Pandora, A-L-E-M-E-T on this side. It's just so pretty. And look at all that detail and the swoosh around, like, so the Shrine Castle, I will link. I did, Mom and I filmed in every single port full videos of each day, each excursion, what we saw. So if you want to check out the real castle that Mom and I saw, I'll link that down below as well. But Disney Parks, Disney. And then the back is the turrets. And look at those swirls. Look at those swirls. I love it. The bottom says, says nothing if I can't hold it still. Disney Parks. There we go. I think this is just so pretty. This and my rose gold cherry blossom charm. I love them. They go, they're going to go opposite each other on my bracelet. And I think they're going to add so much sparkle and I love it. Love it so much. All right, next. All right. So I picked this one up. I was, I was always kind of looking for it, but I was not, I, I was not specifically looking for it at the time. But it was a good price. I believe it's real. The seller was a real person on Facebook Marketplace. Ooh, my dogs are moving. They're on the move. And it is the mermaid. It's the mermaid. So this one's going to go on my ocean themed bracelet. Let's check her out. So she has the hair. She's got the scales. She's got the fin. She's got, oh my goodness, I didn't even notice that. Starfish in her hair. How cute. She's holding a pearl. Why wouldn't she be holding a pearl? She's a mermaid, y'all. She's a mermaid. She's an unfocused mermaid. Nope, doesn't want to focus. Come on. Any time now. There we go. So, I think she is so pretty. And I did see hallmarks on her, but they're very hard to read. So, you can tell if I can get it to focus. The S925 is on this side, and the ALE is on this side, and they are on the backs of the fins but they kind of have lines going through them. So if you have this charm, let me know what you think. I haven't found too many pictures to compare it to, but from what I've seen, she really doesn't want to be in focus. She says, I'm a mythical creature. You're not supposed to see me. I get it. I get it, girl, but also I paid for you, so co cooperate. I like her. I hope she's real. I'm going to keep doing some more research. All right. But what I was saying was I found this one searching through the retired groups for the next charm. And this one came all the way from... Hong Kong, I want to say. So, you know, it's got to be good. All right, I think this is it. I did open it and look when it first came. Eggs, my mom was here and she had to see it right away. B, because as much as I want to show y'all, I had to wait for some of the other pieces to come in. And I wanted to make sure that this was what I wanted. So I did open it and look it over and it looks perfect and then my mom 
was like, do you want me to wrap this back up? And she wrapped it up like, well, I thought she was just going to put it in the bag, but she did the whole, whole nine yards. I have been looking for this one for like a year, maybe two years. It is the mouse in a teacup. She's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Her little balloon. It says, be mine. She has a little bow crown. Is that a crown? I think it's a crown. Oh, there's the Hallmarks S925 ALE Pandora. She has little designs on her teacup. Ah, oh, you can see the whole mouse. She's got her little tail swirling around the handle. It's just the cutest thing you've ever seen. I don't know why I had to have it so much. I just, I've always wanted this one. It came out before I started collecting, so I missed it. And I love it. I love it so much. If it's not real, don't even tell me. I don't even care. I, I don't even care. I love it that much. I'll put it on a bracelet all by itself. That's not true. She's going on my fairy charm bracelet. Fairy garden bracelet. Doesn't she look like she'd be in a fairy garden? All right. I'm so excited. All right. So speaking, I keep saying, all right, I'm so excited. Um, she's going to be a flipper, isn't she? Maybe I can put some stuff on either side of her. Charms, silicone, love, pixie dust. Anyways. This. So, like I said at the beginning, I am I'm pretty sure this bad boy is not real. But let's open it. I bought these on Etsy, which is not my preferred place to shop. But if you watched my recent, man, these are tied well. I tied it. Why did I do this? Um, I was afraid because you can see the the bag is open up here on the sides. I was afraid if I didn't tie it shut, things would fall out. Anyways, if you saw my recent Rue La La haul, you know that I bought the movie clapper in that haul and I was looking for the mixed tape. So I started searching and I found the mixed tape dun -dun -dun -dun, on Etsy and I went ahead and bought it and she was having a buy three, get a discount. So there was another two I really wanted. So I bought all three, the mixtape, the pink crystal, and the suitcase dangle for my Avengers bracelet, fairy garden, and travel. I'm going to open them up and show you the hallmarks. They weren't that expensive, which honestly is a red flag. <laughs> But I, I think the hallmarks are a little off. We'll see what y'all think. All right, so here's the mixtape. Our love song. Little hearts. It has a heart bail. It says mixtape on the front. Pandora. It is so cute. And everything looks really good. Then you get to the bail. And look at those letters. Now, if you're not... I mean, I'm a graphic designer, so like type is my thing. Letters are my thing. But look, here, I'll hold it next to it. Look at the fonts from this mixtape bail to this heart bail. And do you see on the S's? I'm just not sure. They are very similar, but the ends of the, to the top and the bottom of this S on this font is a little more hooked than the S on this font. So I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced that this one is real. If you have this one, let me know. Send me pictures because I would like to know. It is supposed to go on my Avengers bracelet. Guardians of the Galaxy, baby. But if it's not real, I'll keep looking. 
I'll keep looking. I'll probably use it in the meantime because I have no chill. But, you know, I don't like fake charms. I don't like to put them on my bracelets. They voids the warranty. So we'll see. I don't mind as much on my threadless bracelets or my leathers or open bangles. I think my Avengers bracelet is threaded. Here's the suitcase. Oh, it is so cute. And there's the Susie. Susie. There's the Hallmarks. This one does look a little better. So I don't know. Still a little more hooked than I would think. It says Pandora on the back. I don't know. That looks a little off too. It doesn't look bad. It just looks a little off. This one is supposed to open. Yep. And when you open it, it has the pink enamel. And it says, ready to explore. And honestly, I don't know if I can wear this one open, but I bought it because I loved that pink enamel. I want to put it um, on my pink travel bracelet. So it would actually go on the same bracelet as this guy. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Last but not least, the pink crystal. The pink crystal and this one's definitely not threaded it will slip right on anything so I'm not super worried about this one I also want to put it on the open clasp of a heart clasp dangle bracelet so it is probably fine either way I don't believe this little crystal has super visible hallmarks yeah, they're on top here. S925, and on the other side, ALE. I don't know. You guys are great at this. So comment down below what you think. When you buy pre-loved or online charms not from Pandora, Sometimes you risk them not being real, and I just, I just don't think these ones are. But I do think the mouse is real. She looks real to me. The mermaid looks real. Her hallmarks aren't as stand out, but she's an older charm, and I believe the hallmarks are in the right place. Our little heart dangles, both of them look real. And, oh, there you go. Why wouldn't I mess it all up at the last second? Our rose gold castle looks real. So let me know what y'all think about all of these. Let me know which one your favorite one is. Honestly, I don't even know. I love that castle, but I have been searching for this mouse for so long, so long. I've been looking for the mermaid for a long time too, but I didn't have anywhere to put her, so she wasn't ever at the front of my list. They are not going to both sit properly at the same time. They hate me. There we go. All right, nobody breathe. Perfect. All right, I will see y'all in the next video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think.